Brooke Secondary, Pink Shirt Day, Anti-Bullying. This is Go Island. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV's Channel 4. We are thrilled to be here at Brook Secondary for Pink Shirt Day, which is all about anti-bullying. You know, Pink Shirt Day started because a boy wore a pink shirt to school and caught a lot of flack for it. And then the resources came forward and it exploded into the symbol of anti-bullying. It's been pretty phenomenal the last few years. Now this year what has evolved is that with a lot of schools we've talked to is that yes they still do Pink Shirt Day but the focus on anti-bullying is 365 days a year not just a single day. The single day is to celebrate the successes and you're going to hear about one of those successes later in the show from Vice Principal Tony Rice. We're going to start right here in Powell River with this. I'm Mary Ruth Harris, and you're watching Go Island on Channel 4, Shaw TV. We are on location in Powell River. Thrilled to be here at Brooks Secondary for Pink Shirt Day. Joining me now is Jennifer Kennedy. Now, Jennifer, as a teacher, you provide particular supports. Why don't you tell us about that and how that works? Sure. Uh, so I am a student council sponsor here. So any sort of student events that are happening here at the school, I kind of uh, provide teacher support for that and help kids through leadership. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also a teacher sponsor for a program called Respect Ed, and that's a Red Cross program that teaches uh, students to become youth facilitators so they can take anti-bullying oh. messages out into elementary schools and then also use them here at Brooks. What a great experience for them to be have that opportunity to go out in the community and work with younger kids and then implant that seed that those kids can then bring to Brooks when they come. Absolutely. And they every elementary school here in the district is a feeder school to Brooks. We're the single high school. So if we right. can kind of plant those seeds early, mm -hmm. um, I think over time we're going to have less issues here at the high school. Now, have you noticed um, a rise in bullying due to social media or has it just or it's always been there it's just moving platforms I think I think you're right with that I think what is happening is we just have the kids have new tools to okay. to bully each other okay. um, and it's all about moving recognizing those tools especially as adults in the building and giving our students tools that they can use to combat that recognize it and hopefully put an end to it now, is there training in place for the teachers to bring you guys up to speed on what the new platforms are and how the students are using them so that you can stay on top of that? I wouldn't say there's any formal training involved, okay. but there is constantly discussions in our, in our classrooms and in our staff room as to what is happening in the school. Our administration is amazing about letting us know what is going on on a day-to-day -day basis okay. um, and how we can support the students if there's any issues and, and how they are being bullied now. Do you feel that Pink Shirt Day still has value? I think any day to recognize what is happening is important, but here at Brooks, and I'm sure at most high schools and most schools, it isn't just a one day approach. This is right, every, course. I don't want to say we're in the trenches, but you know, we really okay. focus every day uh, on trying to make this a safe and inclusive environment and give students the ability to, to have an education without fear of being bullied or bullying. How do you go about the inclusiveness? Uh, the inclusiveness is something, it's a skill that f we have to teach a lot of students, but okay. by giving them activities, I mean, Student Council does a great job of trying to host different activities throughout the year uh, in the cafeteria where everybody is involved um, and really setting kids up so that there's no failure with inclusion, okay. really kind of low risk activities right. to start with. Okay, well that's awesome. Thank you so much for your time today, Jen. Thank you. All right, we're gonna take a short break, but we'll be right back. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. We're here at Brooks Secondary in Powell River. Joining me now is Jeremy Hopper, grade 11 student, very involved in the student body. Student Council, let's talk about what you do on Student Council to create the inclusivity for everybody. 
Uh, well, this year we um, we're doing things uh, such as shirt day or pink shirt day, sorry, um, on Wednesday, and uh, we're doing a, a sticky wall where we have uh, forms that have gone around the school uh, to different classrooms, okay. and we're having students write down uh, what their idea of a perfect school would be. Okay. Um, so, what it would include, uh, like uh, to include students. Um, and different events and different things we could have to make it a more welcome place. Okay. And uh, we're going to have them write it down, and then we're going to stick it up on a, a wall okay. up at the front of the school so okay. everyone can read their the different ideas and suggestions. Okay. And hopefully we can uh, bring some of that into Brooks. And, okay. uh, now, you're also going to be part of a link crew yes. starting in the fall. So mm -hmm. what does that look like? Um, well, basically, we have uh, there's a group of students, uh, grade 11s and 12s, okay. and we're going to welcome in the new grade 8 students into the school, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to help them out throughout the year if they have any issues and okay. uh, like feeling safe or secure in the school. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have different events that we plan throughout the year to make them feel more welcome. Nice. Yeah. And so that really sets the tone for the anti-bullying message mm -hmm. right from day one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So they. They feel like they can, they belong in Brooks, and it's it just makes it more welcoming. So, knowing that you've got one year left in the school, um, what's going to be your goal by the time you hit grade graduation? Hmm. Uh, just to make school a safer place, because when I came to Brooks, I was really, really nervous, and then mm. uh, it took about a week, and then I okay. felt I felt totally relaxed and comfortable, and it was really easy to come to school and I enjoy it. So now you want to do that for the other Yeah, I want to just yeah. make it okay. in, yeah, full that, circle. Yeah. Okay, yeah. awesome. Well, yeah. thanks, Jeremy, very Thank much. You. All right, we're going to have a look at this from Campbell River. We'll be right back. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV's Channel 4. We are thrilled to be here at Brooks Secondary School for Pink Shirt Day. And joining me now is Oliver Murphy. Now, Oliver, what is it that you do here in the school for the student body? Um, I run the Gay Straight Transgender Alliance. I'm also part of the Interact Club, which is through Rotary and the Student Council. Now, with the um, GSTA, the, gray, the Gay Straight Transden Transgender Alliance, yeah. how often do you meet? Uh, we meet once a week during lunch times on Thursdays. Okay. And what do those meetings look like? Um, it's, we all sit in a circle, so we can all talk uh, equally. Um, we talk about things that go on at home sometimes, big events that go on um, outside school, like in the world, and things that we want to do in the school. Okay. And um, is, what is the goal of that? The goal is just to create a safe place for students who might not have a safe place. Okay. And just for everyone just to be equal, because a lot of times you don't get that in school. Now, Ms. Kennedy was sharing with us that you are, are very open mm -hmm. about your uh, gender identity. Now, growing up, you were explaining uh, before we went on camera that you've had a lot of support at home. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, my mom's really open about everything, and uh, she tells me that she loves me every day, no matter how I identify, even though if she might not understand it, she still loves me for it. Okay. Um, my stepdad, stepdad is also really accepting and uh, makes sure that I'm safe with anything that I need. Okay. Now, what would your advice be to any parents that are watching? Um, just to create a safe place at home and like if your child says that they need help with something or they're confused about something or they've realized that their gender doesn't fit who they, the parents think they are to go along with that and make sure that they feel happy. Now, the other thing that uh, Ms. Kennedy alluded to earlier was a class in school called Respect Ed. Mm -hmm. And tell us about that. Uh, Respect Ed is a course for students to learn how to be anti-bullying facilitators for elementary schools. And is that something you've been doing? Yeah, we did a two-day course on it, and okay. now we're meeting up to decide what schools we're going to go to. Oh, that's awesome. And why would you choose to do that? Um, because, well, bullying is still a big thing, mm -hmm. even though schools are trying to, like, teach it. But sometimes hitting it with older students instead of, like, parents and teachers trying to talk about it, it gets boring. Mm -hmm. So when you get students who can share, like, their experiences, um, it does actually impact the kids more. Okay. That's great. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Oliver. Thank you. Really appreciate it. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back.
I'm Mary Ruth Harris. Welcome back to Go Island. We are on location in Powell River at Brooks Secondary School for Pink Shirt Day. Joining me is Vice Principal Tony Rice. Now, I understand you've had uh, an event that demonstrates completely the success of the anti-bullying programs. Uh, yeah, in, uh, just recently uh, we had a cyberbullying incident where uh, a couple of senior students had made the uh, unfortunate and uh, surprising decision to uh, film another student in a compromising position. Uh, there were three boys that, uh, that made that choice. Uh, but the, the real success was within five minutes of that video being posted up on Snapchat, uh, there were five or six of our students from our student population that saw the video and came up and reported it to the office and to their wow. teachers. That is quick. And they were all from all different levels? All different levels. Wow. Uh, a couple of students were in grade eight, so our new students, uh, a couple of our senior students, uh, they were quick to tell their teachers. Teachers were up. Um, it's scary how quickly these things spread, um, but it was also uh, really rewarding to see how, how quickly our students uh, responded to the situation and made sure that we could do something uh, immediately. Mm -hmm. Now, what were the immediate consequences of that? Within an hour of the video being posted, uh, it was taken down off of, uh, off of Snapchat. Okay. Uh, the three offending boys had been suspended and removed from the school. Wow. Um, the one boy who shot the video has been indef was indefinitely suspended and mm -hmm. uh, will be dealing with uh, later, uh, possibly with the RCMP. The uh, two boys that were bystanders but uh, still um, complicit in the act uh, mm -hmm. were suspended uh, for a number of days. Uh, and most importantly, the student that was the subject of the video, yes. uh, we had seen them, uh, dealt with them, uh, talked um, with myself and the counseling department okay. uh, and the family contacted. So that all happened within an hour. Wow. Uh, and based solely on the fact that our students were quick to see. And come uh, forward. Yes. Yeah. Okay. A very safe uh, environment here. Very. And, uh, you know, they were, the boy, or the, the students were disgusted with uh, what they saw and they knew it was wrong and mm -hmm. they, uh, had no hesitation in coming up and, and letting us know. Okay. And you mentioned the RCMP. I think it's lost on a lot of people that these are chargeable offenses. Yes. Uh, they're very serious. Uh, this, the cyber bullying is, uh, is a bit tricky. It's, it's not as overt. It's, uh, it's sneaky. Uh, mm. Students uh, that choose to do that feel like they're, they're safe because uh, they're not doing it necessarily at school even. Right. Um, but they're more, uh, much more pervasive than... Uh, than the traditional bullying uh, mm -hmm. and much more damaging. And uh, that's why I was glad that we were able to respond quickly and effectively. Well, great success story that your programs are working so effectively to get that message out and those students came forward so quickly. That's amazing. Yeah, we're really proud of them. Uh, yeah. we, you know, we've got a great community here okay. uh, and uh, we have to deal with these situations when they arise. The, right. They arise less uh, so, but uh, when they do, you have to, you have to be on it quick. Okay, well, thank you so much for sharing with that, okay. sharing that with us today. Very appreciate that. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV's Channel 4. We have been here on location at Brooks Secondary in Powell River. What an amazing day. Four fabulous interviews, all kinds of information about what they are doing here in the school to address anti-bullying and even that amazing example from Vice Principal Tony Rice about the success of their programs. So now we're going to have a look at this story from the Comox Valley, but we will be right back. Thank you so much for watching Go Island. We have been absolutely honored to be here at Brooks Secondary in Powell River. Fabulous interviews. Thank you to Oliver and Jeremy and Ms. Kennedy and Mr. Rice. Unbelievable. Thank you for your time. Great stories coming out of Brooks Secondary around anti-bullying. The Pink Shirt Promise still happening. Check out all of our social media for details. And we hope you take this message of anti-bullying with you 365 days a year. Coming up on Friday, we will be at the Campbell River Art Gallery. Have a great week. We'll see you then.